Hello everyone, welcome to today's session on Tableau with me, with me Agadu Lisa Begum and today we're going to learn about Tableau architecture. How does Tableau work and what are the different components involved in Tableau is all what we are going to cover today. So I'm basically a technical trainer and a soft skill trainer. I give technical training on Azure, Tableau and AWS. So if you have any queries regarding these then you can definitely or comment about these about your queries on and then you know I'll get back to you with them so the agenda for today's session is we're going to know what is Tableau architecture introduction to it and how does it work and what all does it include so this is going to be just a basic uh, what do you say a gist of what is Tableau architecture this is not a complete you know deep dive into it it's just a kind of introduction kind of thing so what is Tableau architecture? It's a high scalable client server architecture that serves mobile users, web users, and desktop installed software. So it can be used on desktop, mobile, and even on cloud is what this statement is about. The Tableau desktop is the client where we build visualizations and load it to the Tableau server for presentation. So this is what I have already informed you. In Tableau desktop, we create visualization and in Tableau server, we present it, present our reports. Then this is divided into three parts to perform, which we are going to see further. So these are the different Tableau products, as we have also learned about them in the first session. Tableau Desktop, Tableau Online, Tableau Server, Tableau Reader, and Tableau Public. So Tableau Desktop, like I said, we, have, we create visualizations there. Online is a cloud platform. Server is where it's a reporting to like, uh, where your reports will be presented. Then you have Tableau Reader. You just interact with the reports that you have created in this. You cannot edit or you cannot create reports or you know your visualizations in Tableau Reader. Tableau Public is a free free platform created or you know presented from Tableau, and but the reports that you create they will be published publicly when you use Tableau Public. So W public is not recommended for private firms, while W desktop and W server is what is what is the W product used for private firms. So I hope this one is clear for us. Now, what does W architecture include? Like we said, there it is divided into three segments. The segments are data sources, W server, and then W desktop and the clients. So like if you remember ETL extraction and then the transformation and then loading so data sources and then into tableau server and then you know tableau desktop and the clients so that's how the flow is going here now this is something this image i actually browsed it from google and this actually gave a really clear picture so that's why i thought i should just show it to you and I'll tell you what does this explain. So W architecture, so it includes the data layers, the data connectors, the live connections, and the in-memory connections. So what all are these? Let's see now. So we have, you know, in data layer, the primary feature of W is that it supports the user's choice of data architecture. It does not need any data to be stored in any single system or proprietary. Now, almost all organizations have a heterogeneous data environment where the data resides in database or cube or even in flat files like Excel. And you know, many companies still use Excel, if you know. Then one does not need to get the entire data in memory until and unless it one select to choose. So if your existing data environments are fast and scalable, then it allows you to directly control your investment by using the power of the database to respond to problems. Now, if this is not the case, then it provides simple options to improve your data to be fast and responsive. So this was about uh, data layer. Now, next we have data connectors. What are data connectors? Um, like uh, what does Tableau do? It consists of many optimized data connectors for databases. It also supports common connectors which are designed for the system 
commonly known as ODBC connectors. Okay, it operates without the intervention of a native connector. It further offers two modes of interaction with the data, live connection and in-memory connection. The users can switch any time between live or in-memory connection as per their need and requirement. So, you know, whatever your needs are based upon that, you can just, <coughs> I'm sorry, you can just, you know, switch your connections. Now, what are these live connections and these in-memory connections? Live data connectors of Tableau, they regulate our available data groundwork by transferring MDX statements or dynamic SQL directly to the database rather than importing every single importing you know, every single piece of data. If you have provided the data in a fast and optimized database, unlike Vertica, then you get the advantage of connecting live to your data. Now this leaves the detailed information in the source system and sends the aggregate result of a query to Tableau. So that is how the live connection is working. So in a nutshell, what, does, what do I mean is that Tableau can effectively utilize tremendous amounts of data. So therefore, Tableau is considered as the most massive front end analytics database in the world. It has optimized each connector to receive the advantage of the unique characteristic of every single data source. And then we have the in-memory connection. What is an in-memory connection? Tableau offers a fast in-memory data engine to optimize data analytics. You can directly connect with your data with just one click. You can get access in Tableau's in-memory. So what the Tableau do is it's Data Engine fully acquires our entire system to manage the fast queries and replies on millions of rows of data on commodity hardware. Okay, since the Data Engine can use disk storage as well as uh, you know, memory and RAM, it's not limited to the quantity of memory on a system. However, this is not mandatory that an entire data set will be loaded into the memory to achieve its performance and objectives. So this is just, you know, a basic introductory part of it. So we will be doing a deep dive into data uh, uh, Tableau architecture in which we are going to go through each and every terminology used in Tableau architecture. So that's about it. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts regarding this, if you have any queries or feedback do let me know and goodbye till the next session and happy learning